G'day, Grant from Medina. For those of you who know me, how's it going? For those of you who don't, my name's Grant Menzies, second generation in our family business, Adina Watches, based here in Brisbane. For the past 46 years, we've been designing and assembling watches here in Brisbane and distributing throughout our 300 plus strong retailer network. It's no secret in the trade at the moment, it's tough, it's really tough. But we have to rise to that occasion. Two years ago, off the back of unprecedented events, the closure of nearly 30% of our retail network for people retiring, going out of business, etc. Really in the whole scheme of things, nothing we had done wrong. Dad and I discussed it and decided we had to take some drastic action ourselves and actually bring ourselves into the now. We had to, we had to change. So we opened our e-commerce site two years ago with the idea of anyone in Australia, anyone in Australia who wanted an Adina watch, could buy an Adina watch. Whether you lived in the far-flung reaches of Western Australia or you lived in downtown Sydney, everyone was equal in the ability to get one, whether you had a retailer in town or not. After two years, we've now got the evidence of what that e-commerce site has done. It has not affected our retailers in any way. The vast majority of the, re of the, e of the e sales are coming through places where we have no retailers. Or, or a store is six, seven hours drive away. It's incredible the places where we're sending some of these watches. So I have to say again, if you've got a range of Adina watches in stock, you've got very, very little to worry about from an e-commerce site. This said, the, the turnover that we are getting on our e-commerce site has given us more ability to lift the, the brand awareness. We've never had so much media around the brand. We've been on TV, on the radio, in magazines, and that's all through people just finding out who we are and how we do things. It's up to us to act together as an industry. Anything in your store, you can probably find online. So to signal out Adina is, in my mind, a little unjustified. And I open the door to any of our retailers and anyone who's not a retailer who wants to discuss e-commerce, please call me because it's, it's an interesting topic and it's one that we're faced with and it's not gonna go away. Adina, in my mind, I wanna turn into an iconic Australian brand. Talked about the same conversation as Qantas. And I can only do that with the ongoing support of our retail network. One that we are still calling on with our reps, are still providing an after sales service that's second to none. And we're still providing all the backup path for all those Adinas. I guess we're the custodians of all those Adinas that we've made for the past 46 years all those birthdays, all those anniversaries, all those special milestones that Adina has been used for, we want to be able to service and look after and make you guys look like rock stars. So in closing, I want to thank you for your business and thank you for your ongoing business. I'm pleased that this conversation's come around because I, I realised the opportunity to chat with you further about it. Um, and as one, we can really strive forward to make not only bricks and mortar jewellery stores great again, but also push forward Adina into that iconic nature where I really believe it needs to be. Thanks again.